Don't have time to keep up with everything that's happening in the world of video gaming? Check out Trending Video Game News. Each week, we look at trending news stories in the world of video games. This week, we look at a new competitor to the console market. We also ask, what in the world is 4K? I also had the opportunity to speak to a YouTube creator, gamer, and Photoshop artist. Also, we bring up a recent incident with one of our community members. Lastly, we review one of the best games to possibly come out in 2018. All this and more in trending video game news. Stay tuned. I'll be the last one standing. The last one standing. this week's trending video game news. Don't forget that links for today's stories and last week's episode can be found in the description section below. Let's get into it. So firstly, there's possibly a new competitor in the console market. Now streaming based gaming is nothing new. Currently Steam, Nvidia and a few other competitors which really have products that don't compete to a console or computer. Google would like to be able to host its games on servers in the cloud. Graphical data would be sent down to users on a specific needs basis, meaning you wouldn't need the hardware that you currently require to play a high quality game. Project name Yeti, we don't know what hardware and software will be required, and it was supposed to be released in 2017, but there were setbacks. Stay tuned for this developing story, we'll hear more soon. As the technologies in gaming computers and consoles have advanced, we've seen the demise of the old CRT monitors, the introduction of new high definition and LED displays. The industry standard will soon be 4K. So what's 4K? Well, your monitor's divided into lots of small pixels. The number of pixels per row is multiplied by the number of rows to give your monitors dimensions. Now there's two aspects to this equation. You've got what your graphics card can put out and what your display can also handle. So while your graphics card may be producing 4,096 pixels by 2,980, 100 and whatever frames per second, can your monitor have that? Can it handle that? What's the refresh rate? How many pixels can your monitor have? This is something that you need to take into, into consideration. You can read more about 4K in the link below in which I go into more detail about what is true 4K and what is gaming 4K. Have you ever been interested in starting a YouTube gaming channel or learning Photoshop? I've interviewed gamers in the past and Photoshop artists. This week I had the opportunity to interview Daniel Offen from Elusive Gaming. He's not only a Photoshop artist, he's also a fantastic gamer and his YouTube channel just surpassed 100,000 views. While his channel's been up for some time, he only achieved this figure in the last 12 months, which is an amazing feat. Click on the link below to watch the full interview and see how he did it. Check out some of his other creations and how he got into art, Photoshop, and YouTube. Turn one of those creations from a theory into an actual physical product. So, I, I ended up making a skateboard Last week on Game Talk, Bryce and I discussed which is better to game, a keyboard and mouse or a controller. Check out the full episode by clicking on the link below. I want to start with ease of use. Controller. Why is a controller easy to use? There. You don't have to worry about 400 other buttons. Back onto the accuracy. Yeah, the professional mice these days are extremely amazing devices. Overrated. Also, overrated. Logitech. Cheap Logitech is the go all the time. They're very light. They have a good sensor. Unique interpretations of controllers over mm. the years. Yeah. From the three handed Nintendo 64 controller. Yeah. Unfortunately, this week, one of our community members had something quite unfortunate and tragic occur to him. Now, I won't go into specific details, but I encourage you all to check out his Twitch and support him in this time of need. He can explain the situation there too, but he's seen as a guru in the community and he's always been willing to help out a fellow gamer and community member. I encourage you to once again to go check out his Twitch and support him on his Patreon. Kingdom Come could possibly be the best game of 2018. Kingdom Come Deliverance is set some 2,000 years ago around the time of the whole around the time of the Holy Roman Empire. You're essentially trying to avenge your parents' deaths and it's an epic adventure RPG. By the time this episode is out, the game should be available. It's available on PC, 
PlayStation 4 and Xbox. Once again, check out the trailer. The graphics and gameplay are going to be insane. It's an absolutely amazing game. All right, guys, well, that's all for this week's trending video game news. Next week, once again, we'll be looking at all the major news stories happening in the world of gaming. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We encourage you all also to visit our Game Talk series. Drop a comment below on what you'd like to see us discuss or argue or fight over next. A game versus a game or a character versus a character. Let us know. We're going to have some new panel members in soon. As always, thank you very much for watching. We appreciate all the amazing support we get from you. Thank you once again. And as always, have a lag-free gaming experience.